Welcome to another The Builder's Agency Lessons. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to talk about websites a little bit today, our websites and what we're doing with them from an agency perspective, how we approach updates, what we're doing specifically. I'm going to show some examples of little things that we've been doing to improve our sites over the recent months. And uh, maybe even talk a little bit about what the plans are going forward. So I think the, the big lesson here to start things off, this is really what it's all about, is that no matter how busy you get in your agency, um, in whatever, or whatever business you're in, right? You're, the services you provide, the products you sell, no matter how busy you are, you have to find and block time to continuously improve your own websites. At least to keep them up to date, for sure, that's baseline, right? Keep them up to date, uh, but also, you know, fresh content, or that's more of an SEO thing, but just in general. Um, and But also just the design, just improving and tweaking the design over time. You don't necessarily, I think a lot of people, I, I'm sure this is the way a lot of people operate, is especially in the WordPress world, you have this theme you get, right? This design that you start with or that you get at some point, right? And you buy this theme from a third party and three or four years later, it, you know, it's, it's not serving the purpose that you or your, your new situation, right? Businesses evolve and change over time. Maybe it's not keeping up with that. Maybe it, you need new features or you just need a fresh look for your business. And so what do you do? You go out and get a whole nother theme and start over or a whole nother, you know, uh, platform. Maybe even, maybe you're on WordPress. Now you're going to some other platform, Shopify or something or vice versa. Uh, so a lot of that can happen. And, and maybe that's not avoidable in some situations. But for one of the things that I kind of do is I sort of continuously improve over time, uh, what we ex have existing, uh, slowly improve the design, slowly improve sections, add sections, maybe remove sections on the website, uh, different types of sections. And all that evolves organically. Now, we are kind of in a unique situation where we, this is what we do, right? So we have the team to do it. Uh, and we're also, you know, our whole wheelhouse is around doing custom work. Besides maintenance, is custom work. So all our websites are custom. They're either built on a framework we used to use. Uh, we could still use it today, but it's, it's a bootstrap uh, WordPress theme framework, uh, boilerplate. Uh, we have sites that are built on that. Our newer sites are block themes, full site editing block themes. Uh, the plugins we're now releasing are all full, are using our new framework uh, for block themes. Um, but all of our sites, every site you see was built by us, was designed by us, all the themes. Uh, even um, mattlevenhagen.com, thebuilders.com, those were actually Hexeter themes. Uh, when you know Hexter was a WordPress theme marketplace that I ran for a number, helped build and ran for a number of years, and now it's phased out. But even though it's phased out, now basically those themes now because there's no licensing, there's no updates, nothing. They've turned into custom themes, so I'm slowly customizing those and and improving those over time. But they're unhooked from anything else. But they but the theme was still custom made by us. That those themes were designed by my team my, at when I was at Rapid Crush, my design and development team designed and built those those themes, and I've just modified them over time. But every so everything you do, every website you see is all custom. So, um, so let's. But what I want to do though is I want to kind of dig into some of the things that I'm actually doing. Uh, I thought that would be fun. Um, so let's start with UnifiedWebDesign.com. So unifiedwebdesign.com, uh, this is going to be part of the fun part about this. I'm going to like show you screenshots somewhere here, probably in this space right here. I'll show you some screenshots. Uh, so first of all, let's start with unifiedwebdesign.com and, and the hero. So the hero, uh, not much has changed with the hero uh, in recent months. I have been changing that heading and the, uh, 
you know, the text underneath and then the button uh, that that used to that button was actually just uh, designed initially to uh, capture emails to follow up with them with uh, a course. A uh, short course about uh, maintenance and performance and stuff. I've been tweaking that. This uh, new button that's schedule a call today. That's Calendly, and uh, it's been working really well. So we've been testing that. Um, but I'll continue to test that. And and this is the section that's kind of always kind of you know morphing. And uh, but this hopefully this is solid. This will be good for a while. Uh, another section I we redesigned again this is all custom design we don't see we're not using page builders we're not using any other kind of other you know third party when i want to design like this which i'm going to be showing you here <laughs> when i want to design like that what do i do i go to my designer i say design me a section uh for video you know maybe i give them some ideas or references and then they design it uh, we went through a few iterations with this. We weren't sure we we're going to put it on this on the page and all this, but this is where we landed. Uh, so that's uh, Dolan White, and he's got a nice video there that pops up a video um, uh, testimonial. So that's another way we're improving our sites. Is I'm always looking for ways to build more authority and and uh, get more testimonials on there. So this is our first video testimonials. Hopefully, um, over time, I'll add more video testimonials, and maybe we'll need a carousel or something at some point. Um, but that's not the only testimonials we have. We have testimonials down below at the bottom as well. Um, but this used to be just a uh, three column section with three testimonials that were static. And we just, uh, again, my, I went to my designer. I said, I, I'd like to redesign that section. She designed it first and then built it. <laughs> so... Yeah, no drag and drop here. Uh, we built that from scratch. And it actually um, is easy on the back end to manage that and all that. But, um, you know, for us, it's kind of a little different, too, because we're developers. We don't always, like, there's things we don't mind actually updating in code and stuff. So, but I believe in this case, we built a post type and we can add stuff or add, manage them uh, in the WordPress admin. I, I usually try to do that. Sometimes, here's a little tip. Sometimes what happens, and I've done this with, I think this site and a couple others, is sometimes I'll build it first, all in code, everything's hard coded in, in HTML. And then I'll ask one of my team members, you know, one of my pro web developers to go in and convert all that to ACF, advanced custom fields, so you can be, it can all be managed on the back end. So sometimes you do things in phases. Sometimes you want to get things out quick. You knock it out. You get it done. It's looking awesome. Nobody on the front, you know, that's visiting the site knows or cares uh, how it's managed on the back end. That's more you. Uh, but I definitely want to keep get, make it easy so my virtual assistant or whoever can uh, tweak some content or add content or manage content over time. But initially, it may not even be built on the back end. So we first build it on the front end and then uh, make it easier to manage over time. Uh, and that may have happen on its own kind of time frame. You know, may not happen right away. Maybe at some point I revisit it, say we need to do this. And um, that's usually what happens. Uh, so build things quick first, get it out there, and, and then make it easier on ourselves over time. So that's unified web design. Um, one of the next things uh, that I'll be working on on this site after this is done is uh, I'm going to be, we have a email plugins, uh, an email plugin now uh, to actually capture emails with a couple different services, including MailChimp. And I use MailChimp here, um, but I need to add a few features so that, that my developer is actually working on right now before I could implement it on here. Because, of course, we want to use our own plugin. <laughs> that makes sense, right? It would be really silly to sell a uh, email plugin and we don't use it ourselves. Uh, we use it on on the other sites, on the actual plugin sites, but we I don't have it here yet because it needs a feature. Uh, but as soon as that's done, we're going to be using it here. Uh, we're going to be doing that, and um, and then I'm going to be working on my email follow up and maybe adding another capture. So I kind of do things in rotations, like once or twice a year, I try to get in here and update things or, or every few months we're, you know, tweaking something. Um, so I'm always thinking about our own sites too, and how we're improving those to improve conversions and, uh, you know, all that marketing stuff. MattLevenhagen.com. 
This is a brand new hero. Brand new. <laughs> Again, the, my designer, I said, I needed a new hero. And she came up with a couple different concepts. And this is the one I went with. And I think it looks beautiful. It's way better than it was before. Um, I didn't even have my my own image up there before. Um, and I'm looking over here while I'm talking because I, I got it on my screen over here, but it'll be here hopefully for you. Um, and uh, But I think this looks really nice. And it, again, it's another thing where I am alongside my web design agency. I am worried about my personal brand a little bit. So I try to maintain this site and um, uh, hopefully add more content over time. I've kind of been lax on the blogging part of my <laughs> my activities, but hopefully I can continue to do more blogging or talk more about my, you know, what I do and stuff. Uh, so I may talk more, you know, I have other ideas for sections. We won't get into all of it. Uh, but one of the other things that I did just add besides the hero is I had her design um, she actually designed the recent blogs section uh, for me uh, a while back and built that. And basically, we kind of reused some of those ideas for the podcasts I've been a guest on. So I've been, my goal has been to do more guesting. And so I'd be on other people's podcasts besides just mine. So I actually get on other people's podcasts and then. I want to be able to collect those here. I want people to see the like the last three I did and then be able to go to a, I actually, uh, we also built a separate list, grid list, where we're going to list all those and people can search them and that will probably improve in, you know over time as well. Uh, but we got a good framework here going forward uh, to display all the podcasts that I'm on as well. So um, that's another thing we just did. And that went through a couple iterations. You know, we, again, we designed it. And then after it got added, I went back and I said, well, let's add some additional content. I don't think we had uh, the description and stuff and the uh, podcast name posted by, we didn't have that originally. <laughs> we should really have that so people can see, um, so we can talk about our, you know, our partners in guesting and, and guests, um, whatever I just said there. Uh, so, yeah, so that's a fun little thing we're doing. And uh, there's not much else going on in this side. I did add my new products up there on the menu uh, this past day. On the builders, this is something that as I'm recording this, uh, probably uh, as you're listening to this, it's not done yet, but this is something we're actively doing on the builders that we have. If you go to the top of the builders.fm, uh, there's all episodes and it has lists all our episodes. You can search the episodes uh, by keyword, but what you can't do is you can't filter. I wanted to be able to add a filter for solo and guests. So initially it'll it'll be a button. Maybe I'll have the design right here because we have the design. We'll have a button and that'll say, it'll default to all, but if you want to just see all Matt's mine, <laughs> I'm Matt, <laughs> uh, all my solos, um, you would be able to just click a button. It would just refresh with all my solos and vice versa. You can just see all the guests. So that's something I thought would be kind of a, a nice, a neat little feature. Uh, it also highlights the fact that I have solos. So somebody might be interested and in, in look at that. Um, so that's just a little tweak, you know, just a little improvement over time. Again, custom. What did I do? Asked her to, you know, design it. She designed it. Now she's, uh, this one's a little more complicated. <laughs> it's taking a little, a little bit extra dev time because I don't think, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're changing how it refreshes and stuff. But um, so that's something we're doing in the builders. We got new sites we're working on. And uh, besides uh, tweaking our own sites, we're launching new products. We just launched three plugins. And each of those are actually using our new full site editing FSE block WordPress themes. Um, so our, we have a new framework for that. So each one of those is using that. So it's all blocks all the time. Uh, and then Unified Toolkit uh, is the last uh, product that we're going to be launching, at least in, in the foreseeable future, uh, that's going to actually include those plugins. So it's like a package uh, with other stuff we're doing with Unified Toolkit. Uh, that's actually going to be our, uh, on one of our, it's still on our bootstrap framework because we built that before FSE was a, was a thing. Uh, but that's fine. I don't care <laughs> right now. Eventually maybe we'll move it to a, a convert it to a block theme, but for, for right now, 
<laughs> we have we will we will be having this uh maybe I'll even just you know a little sneak peek of what this site's gonna look like right here. You saw it here first, because it's actually still like hidden under a coming soon. But uh, well, that'll be hopefully be launching. Oh, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks, probably in uh, probably in November. Um, so, so yeah, that's a little bit of a kind of a glimpse of uh, what we've been working on this year, the last couple months on our own sites uh, to continually improve. And now I may stop for a while for like six months and not do anything, and then I do another round on that. Um, and in that time frame, I'm probably collecting ideas and I'm like, we really should have something like this or we could improve this. Cause I use our sites too, but look for little things to improve and uh, that could make it easier to navigate or whatever. That's why we got search fields. That's why we have a separate guest bios on the builders.fm where you can search the actual, uh, all our guests on there or, or browse through them with, you know, those are, that's all custom. Those are custom sections. If you look at uh, our podcast guests, um, if you go to the guest bios at the top in the menu and you look at those, those are custom. That's a custom list, a custom section. The episodes underneath, uh, all their episodes are listed. That's custom and that's reused. So all any podcast they are on, that same section, the same code displays it there. So wherever we want to display their guest bio, it can be displayed anywhere in the site with a little snippet. So it's it's all managed in a post type. I can talk about this stuff all day. I probably uh, should get going, though, because uh, I try to keep these a little shorter. Uh, but hopefully you find it interesting. I, again, the lesson here is, is no matter how busy you are, what you're doing with your business, if you want to grow and you want to continually improve what you're doing and attract more business and get more conversions, um, and uh, you always got to be thinking about your own stuff in between stuff. It's hard to do uh, in any business. Like, you know, you want to, you get caught up in the actual delivery of your services and uh, getting projects done and taking it, taking in tasks or uh, just selling, you know? Um, but if you're not continuously improving your own websites all the time, then there's going to be a day four years, five years down the road where it's like, Oh my gosh, I'm in a world of hurt and I'm going to have to redesign this whole thing. <laughs> from scratch. Um, I'm hoping, you know, so again, we're in a unique position because we do custom work. And so we, you know, we've built all our sites. We know it down to the line of code. Uh, so we can continually iterate on it. It's not a problem, but uh, who knows? I mean, at some point I, though, I may decide to replace, you know, maybe a new framework. Maybe we want to do something headless or something at some point, but that's in the future. I'll tell you about it when it comes. <laughs> Until next time, hope you found this useful and interesting and you're wiser for listening in. Take care.